Hello again, everyone. Todd Struch, the horror nerd here at the Horror Side Show Market in Allentown, Pennsylvania, brought to you by New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival. I am here with the creator himself, the man, the myth, the legend, Ryan Scott Weber. Ryan, how are you? Uh, good. How are you doing, Todd? That was a lot of states in that uh, <laughs> first uh, opening thing. I am astonished that I can say that right every time. That was great. Time. It's a tongue but, twister. Uh, oh, I'm doing great. I'm having a good time. Yeah. The weather turned out great. Perfect. And uh, the event is a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, you've been doing these pop-up markets now for a while. A couple there's, years. There's several of them. Yeah. What was the, how did you come up with that idea? What was the inspiration behind doing an event like this? Um, well, I wanted to do something a little more intimate than the horror con in New Jersey because that's a very big event. It's 150 vendors and like 30 celebrities and I wanted something where it was just like a couple celebrities and like showcasing the vendors a little bit more than what you see at a normal convention so it's really about the vendors at this show and um, you know it, it's uh, inexpensive price to get in five dollars and uh, I try to keep it at that and uh, it's also a little inexpensive to uh, to vent so it's uh, it all works out for everybody and everyone seems to have a good time we have some good food here um, I actually really like it outside doing it, but you know we're obviously doing it for safety reasons. Sure. So, uh, I actually really enjoy it outside with nice weather. So. I agree. I mean, when you when you first did it, I don't know a few years ago or whatever, mm. I thought it was just a great idea to focus yeah. on the vendors. You yeah. know, and it's it's not a typical like autograph convention. Like, no. You know, the main horror con. So. Yeah. Yeah, and um, you know you're at the mercy of the weather, but so far you've had good luck. The turnout yeah. seems good so far. Oh you, yeah. You, we, how great. do you feel about that? The turnout uh, up to your expectations? Always great, and I really have. To to thank um, you know the great vendors that are here because a lot of them you know promote really hard and also Felissa Rose is one of our guests and she always brings a great crowd of her people. line I think stretches all the way back to it's New great. Jersey still <laughs> hey, at this point it's, it's ridiculous. great and I'm um, you know she's so personable and that's what it's all about is you know meeting the uh, a few celebrities not you know a bunch of them all and being overwhelmed you can actually meet one of your favorite celebrities and actually you know talk to them and have a conversation and not be rushed out so mm. Yeah, I spoke to Corey Glover uh, from mm -hmm. Living Color, and he was fantastic. Yeah. Which, that was like a last-minute day before edition. You managed to pull that off. That was uh, nuts. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we had a last-minute cancellation with Leslie Easterbrook, um, mm -hmm. who hurt her back, but we're hoping to get her back another time. And... Um, Corey stepped in. He's from New York, and uh, you know he's like, I'm, I'm down. Let's do it. And he came out for one day. And honestly, I've been a fan of his band forever. So sure, it's really cool to have him here. And uh, they, he's a Grammy Award winner. So exactly. It's awesome. Exactly. So yeah, he was fantastic. Yeah. Um, so as as far as we know, you are still on track mm -hmm. for the main convention in the fall. Yep. And there's actually going to be a few of them. You've got New Jersey Horror Con yep. twice. Twice, yeah. And then PA, your new Pennsylvania PA horror con, yep, right? Which is here, yeah, um, right. also in Allentown. Um, we have such a great fan base here with everyone coming to the show. I thought I want to bring a convention to this area. We mm. don't have anything here. So, you know, we have 10, we're going to have 10 celebrity guests. We're going to have vendors. We're going to have photo ops. It's going to be good. We're not, we're going to try to do an outside, possibly, a film festival mm. um, out in this parking lot here, like a drive in movie kind of oh, thing. Oh, that'd be very cool. And I think it'll be pretty cool. And um, I just really miss doing shows. So mm. I wanted to do two in a row, <laughs> actually, three in a row. Sure. Because PA Horicon. It's August 21st and 22nd, and then the New Jersey Horror Con is September 3rd, 4th, and 5th. It's literally two weeks away from each other. Mm. Um, that one's at Labor Day weekend at the beach in Atlantic City. Can't get better than that. Exactly. Um, you know, they turned half the floor into an arcade. I don't know if you know this, mm. but uh, at the showboat. But we have a whole another half of the floor still um, and other rooms and everything. So we're going to have a great con that's going to probably be bigger than ever so fantastic so lastly ryan i know listen this obviously goes without saying how the pandemic liter literally changed the whole landscape yes of did. conventions and uh i know a lot of people were doing virtual conventions and mm -hmm. such but you've managed to stick it through yep. holding things together um how how big of a challenge was that to just keep it, soldiering on is. in the middle of a pandemic? I'm not, well, first of all, I'm not a fan of the virtual convention. Uh, I, I feel like it's all about meeting the person, you know, meeting the celebrity or the vendor or seeing things right in front of your face. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. Yeah. So I've been approached many times about doing a virtual show, but I never 
took it on. I was like, I'm just going to wait. But I, we were actually, we managed to do three horror sideshow markets in 2020. Mm. I think I was one of the few people that did a show in 2020. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think the Trent Punk Rock Flea Market did one because I went to it and that was really well done. Uh, with Joe is a great uh, promoter there too. So I, I uh, really, it was a challenge, but our September show in 2020 had so many people come and we, you know, we kept track of the, the numbers and everything worked out really well and everyone was kept their mask on and it was really well done. So um, I, I think it's a, it can be done now. I think we're getting in a, we're getting, you know, better every day with the vaccines and everything else that's mm. happening. And, um, you know, hopefully we can get back to normal in September, or at least, you know, the masks still might be need to be worn, yeah. but uh, you can still have a good time and still take pictures, you know, we'll figure out a way. The fo photo op guy, Eric, he's a great guy and uh, he figured out all these different ways to take photos without mm. with having uh, safety precautions. So we're excited. I'm ready to go and just do as many shows as we can, especially at the end of this year and maybe in you know we'll have a couple extra shows in, uh, in 2022 too so fantastic well i'm looking for it you know I, you. i've been coming to your shows for a long time yeah, i'm a I big fan it. so i'm glad to see everything coming back uh, yeah so to close out it is shameless self-promotion time <laughs> all right so tell the fans anything you want them to know about the upcoming shows well first of all Take i want to thank you for <laughs> always coming to the show and no always worries, man. awesome interviews <laughs> Your camera guy is also great, <laughs> and I've watched all your interviews on YouTube, and you should watch this YouTube channel for sure. Thank you. But, yeah, we have three shows coming up this year, so it's August 21st and 22nd, which is right here at the, uh, it's called the Center Hotel right now, but it's going to be a Delta Marriott, and um, we're going to have a two-day awesome show with ten celebrities. I have Tyler Maine here, Linnea Quigley, Byling, Ari Lehman, Tony Moran, I mean, it's just... Tons of great classic mm. people. We're going kind of classic with the with the feel. Cool. And then we have September 3rd, 4th, and 5th, which is Labor Day weekend down at the beach in Atlantic City. And we're going to have uh, almost 40 celebrities, I think we have. Over 100 vendors. Um, and then November 12th, 13th, and 14th, we'll be also at the Showboat in New Jersey Horror Con to kind of make up for lost time. And uh, we have, uh, we're starting announcing guest lists that's uh, of that show soon so we have um deborah foreman already and uh cool i'm gonna announce a couple guests coming up soon so it's gonna be good awesome i'm excited and me, i, I want to thank everybody too. for coming out here <laughs> we have a huge crowd as you can hear so. yeah i mean I, the turnout is fantastic <laughs> everyone's so, listening yeah, to the rules and too, which yeah. is important to keep the shows going and safe so we're we're lucky that we're that everyone's abiding by the rules so agreed ryan nice thanks so much for uh <laughs> for some of your time i truly thank appreciate you. it uh been a big fan for a long time thank so you. i'm i'm good glad to thank see you. everything thanks. going along thank well. you thanks, ryan God. scott weber everybody from yeah. new jersey and now pa horror con yeah here at the horror side show market in allentown pennsylvania this is todd Struch, the horror nerd and we will see all of you in the next interview